welcome to my youtube channel welcome back once again i'm miss char and i'm so delighted to be here again it's been a while and i keep saying that but i'll try and be consistent i'm in my exam period but i chose to do this video at this point moment just to it's called what to tone down because i've been reading the whole day so i just wanted something like a like a little break and i said what do I love to do most is YouTube. So here I am back once again in my bedroom and I want to do a video, a luxury unboxing and uh, my luxury handbag for 2024. The things that I'll be using in most times because a woman and her handbag, you can never separate them. So in any case, we will get into the video welcome if you've not subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button thank you for the all the subscribers who have subscribed they watch my videos they watch the ads they watch up to the end thank you so much so we'll start with my most coveted bag this one i got this from my friend it's a brown bag with a long handle and the top handle you can hold it like this or you can for me i like holding it like that so this is my precious bag and clearly i've been using it because i can see i have a lip uh a lip balm it's the nyx butter gloss and nyx in the shade praline so it's really really nice i don't like lip gloss because of the scent i don't like things that are scented but i love this one because there's no scent to it it's it leaves your lips plump and yeah so we are here not for the lipstick but for the handbag the handbag just comes like this so usually when you have your stuff it doesn't have a zipper but it has this place to enclose so you just pull it and you enclose like that and you return it here and then your stuff are secured but it's just basically a one big thing that you can place yeah the bag is really really nice and i got it from my friend gladys so moving on to the next bag this this is my most precious bag i love it I love it, I love it, I love it. I really, really love this bag because it kind of reminds me of the YSL bag that comes like this. It has a YSL logo over here. But this one, I got it on a budget. I think they were selling it for 1500 and I got it at a Sour Mall shop. It's called Tavia on instagram but i went physically there i wasn't intending a bag to buy a bag actually i was going to pick another bag my valentine's bag and then i got this cute bag and i could not leave it it could not leave my my mind because i've seen the ysl bag and it's costing around five thousand shillings for such a tiny bag i don't have the budget for that so I don't see the reason why I should buy it. And then I saw this one for 1500. It's black in color and it can hold uh, your phone. It can hold your phone, your card, your lipstick. Um, it can hold your makeup, your mirror and other things. So it's really not that small. That's why it's making me consider getting the YSL, but uh, I don't know so I've been using the bag clearly the last time I used it was two weeks ago and I have some brushes over here then I have a document and last but not least other brushes um, and a lip gloss it seems to have poured oh no so that's it um, you wear it like so 
that's how you wear it it doesn't have a top uh like a strap a long strap and uh, you can't adjust the strap so it's basically like this um but it can fit a few things and i like it and you can dress it up and dress it down the last time i wore it with pants i'll put an insert over here i wore it with pants and then you can also dress it like this let's see that hmm? you can dress it up and dress it down On to this this is one of my most latest patches i still got it from tavia tavia i've told you it's at sour mall i believe it's on first floor uh shop number i don't know if you go and search it on instagram you'll find it there what had i gone to do to pick another bag that i'd gotten as a gift but then i found this and it looked really really cute it has this metal strap I believe you can strap it on uh, I don't know how should be able to strap but for me I believe I'll uh, just be carrying it like so like this or like this but this is really really difficult so you can just hold it like that it's a really cute bag you can place your phone it can fit your phone your lipstick uh, what else can it fit? Your cards, your ATM cards, your everything that you need, your essentials. Um, you can dress it up using a dress. You can dress it down just like the other bag casually. So that's it. Moving on to a bag that I gifted myself for Christmas. It was this Christian Dior bag i have another bag in christian dior a black one and a mat in black and i really really love it i got it when i didn't even know what christian dior is so i believe it was a thrift but then i got this one the plug that i go to where i get all my handbags are um, handbags by bev she's on instagram and uh she's legit so this is the bag look at that such a pretty gorgeous bag it's clearly very new um didn't come with a box came just like that and i've been waiting for this video to just unveil it so that i can move on <laughs> move on with life so it has this kapufi thing to make the bag puff up when you buy it and then it has a long strap but you can it still has these straps that you can uh just hold it like so even the other one it doesn't have a long strap and i think for the long strap you either insert from here to here it can fit your phone a mini tablet it can fit your lipstick it can fit uh, a scarf what else can you carry with it it can fit a lotion hand lotion and some other stuff your makeup clearly your brushes and if you need to touch up a mirror so it's a really really nice red i tend to shy away from colored things I don't like my handbag screaming i'd rather my dress be screaming but not my handbag so for the handbag this one is red but i can see that currently she has other colors she has a nude one if i'm not gravitating towards black i'd rather gravitate towards brown and uh, nude handbags so for this one i saw she has a nude one and a green one she still has red and other colors but for me i think i'm torn between um i'll tell you at the end that my luxury wish list for 
handbags. So that's it. Durability, I believe all the handbags that I've bought from Bev, they're really, really nice. Nothing is slipping. There's no tear. There's no wear and tear that you can get from her handbags. I've not seen any. So that is it for the uh, the Christian Dior. We'll move on to another bag. This is my Gucci. I don't know. It's not Gucci, Diana. I don't know it's which Gucci. But this is my Gucci handbag. I'll insert where I used it. I had it in my trip to Kisumu. A vlog that I've not edited, but I'll edit. Yeah, and it comes with a long strap. Uh, that you suppose these are the strappy things and another long one so for me i just use it as a top handle and the reason i wanted a mini version of this because this one i got it um end of part of my wish list for december so i started my wish list in november knowing what i want the things i want to purchase in december for myself to tell my body sorry for all the hard work i've been doing so this was one of them i loved it because it has these cute handles uh it's not a material like this one so you can see it looks like wooden but it's not really wooden i don't know how to describe it uh compartments it's just a single compartment but on the side we have a place where you can put your keys on top here you can the things that you need to reach really fast like a card uh coins lip balm lipstick whatever you can have it here it can fit every other thing that i've described inside there a laptop a lipstick your makeup bag it can fit a scarf handkerchief and all the other shenanigans in terms of logo it has a gg logo over here and as i've said with for bev everything that she has last year my sister had a function and i wanted this bag in a smaller smaller tinier version but it had already sold out so i had to ask her if she'll source it again she let know and for sure she reminded me that it's back in stock and i got it but for that event for my sister i had to now go with this dng for the first time it came in a box so I just returned it in its box. It had those yada yada things for unboxing to make you feel good. The <laughs> the karatasi, the the paper, just to make you feel like you're doing an unboxing. So those ones I threw them away, and this is the bag. Baby, honey, ladies. If I tell you the number of times I've used this bag, the ways I've abused this bag, all the dates that I go to, I've used this bag until I have to mentally remind myself, stop it, there are other bags. Stop it, there are other bags. I went to this bag for my friend's birthday. I've gone it with it for dinner. I've gone with it for official events like i love this bag it's tiny just a single compartment it has a dng logo it's written a strap a metal strap um sometimes you can hold it like this at the top or you can just it's as you can uh dress it up like a this a double strap or you can do so and wear it as a cross body 
it's really nice it holds just a little stuff probably your lipstick your wallet and uh what else your car keys your house keys and that's it you don't want to put a lot it's a dng it's a designer bag dng designer dupe that i got it from babe so if you're looking for classy handbags you can get it from babe yes that's your plug we go to the next bag this one was amongst the christmas wish list and it's a coach bag and it's called a pillow tabby honey if i tell you every other person is in need of a coach bag every instagram galley is looking for a coach bag and you can find it the galleys include angel lately she has it in black her friend um pals and love she has it in white not the pillow tabby but they have the other coach version it's hardy it's official you can go with it anywhere and it's really really nice i know for them they don't have the dupes this is a dupe bag for the pillow tabby the material and the fabric is really really soft so you have to be careful with it it will tear easily so it comes in other colors other than black as i've said i gravitate towards black if i don't gravitate towards black it's like this one it was brown in color if i didn't mention but i tend to gravitate towards black there was a purple version a mint version um a pink version but for me this bag is really really soft i would have gone for the mint version just to break myself from the chocolate or black but i couldn't bring myself to that because it's a really soft material so i mean the bag would get easily dirty and it would uh make me just feel a piece of headache so i didn't want that i have not yet unboxed it so let's unbox it together it came with this thing then it came with a strap a long strap because you can see it doesn't have a top handle but i believe you can also hold it like this in case you don't wanna you can make it a pass and just hold it like this but for me that is not my style i don't like holding things i don't like things hanging and holding things so we will uh, unbox the strap together i'm really really excited about it so it has a tiny top handle strap and a long handle strap i will not do it not right now but maybe i can do the long strap That is the long strap. You can wear it like that. Look at that. It's cute. It's nice. It's interesting. Just see that. And then, in terms of compartment, it has still has this. It has compartment one, compartment two, and another place to just place the bag. So. I'll place the top handle because I know I'll need it at some point. So I'll just place the top handle inside and I'm ready to use the bag so that I can clearly stop abusing this baby. But if you give me any time, any day between the two, I'll always choose the DNG. I don't know whether it's the logo, the love for the logo or what but also coach has this the bags that i'm talking about the one that angel lately and uh, pals and love have and even the sa galleys they usually have the coach bag that has such a structure rectangular structure so i'm seeing it and i'm visualizing myself hashtag my luxury wish list for 2025 handbag should be that coach bag so yeah that's it 
so for my gifts that I got from my friends I love that one this is this bag a friend of mine asked me what I was looking at on Instagram because I wasn't paying attention and I said I'm looking at handbags so I kept just looking at this handbag for a very long time wanting it wanting it wanting it but not having the money for it so I just kept looking back it goes it sells out looking back it comes I admire I don't have the money so at this particular time it came and when my friend asked me I told them I want this bag but I don't have money so they said I'll send you money tomorrow how much is it then I told them the figure and the next day I got the money to buy it so I click quickly sent the money to Bev via M-Pesa by the way Bev usually leaves her handbags at uh, Sour Mall uh, I think they share a shop or she pays for a shelf in Tavia's Tavia handbags place at Sour Mall. I don't know if it makes sense. But shop for Tavia, that's where Bev, Bev leaves the handbag. Like a pickup drop. No, and she has others that... I think she has a shelf. So those that have not been bought, she leaves them there. And if you buy, you will find yours there with your name located in another section so for so this one <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. what's that what's that Prada Prada bag I told you this is a luxury unboxing so if you luxury unboxing So this is my Duke Prada bag. The reason why I love it is black. It has top handle. Um, it has these things to top it up. And what I really, really excites me most is the inside. I love, love, love the color red on the inside. Oh my goodness! Look at that red. Aish, Aish. It has a Prada logo over here and then it has a space, an inside place. I've not seen this with many handbags, like you can close it up and it has the logo. Usually it's just a zipper, then uh, there are no inside zipper, it has a compartment over here and a compartment over here. And now if you want to put anything that you feel is delicate, you place it on this inside part of the mini it has a prada logo over here and a prada logo over there and this one i also got from bev in terms of material it is not a soft leather it's a hard leather it has a um, very minimum um doesn't scream it's it has its own way of inviting you it has its own way of telling you luxury so if i'm going for any official meeting any board meeting any serious meeting because i'm going back to business uh anything that screens i'm in my bag session i'm in my bag moment this is the bag when you're signing the check this is the bag so i really really love it i have nothing much to say about it it can fit literally everything it can fit a mini laptop it can fit a tablet uh you can dress it up dress it down but i believe this one is more for dressing it up in official wear so this one is the check grabber um i believe uh the first few bags that i've gotten from bev i unboxed them last year so another handbag that is more of a serious bag is this one the reasons why i haven't used it is 
because of this video but also look at that I told you it's all about designer designer all the way dupe designer so I got it from Bev Steel, it's Balmain Paris, and it has Balmain logo over here. It came with Madogodani, it didn't come like as nice as the Prada, but huh, I'm telling you, this bag, this bag is also a cheap grabber. This one, means business this one is for cutting that pen for grabbing the check signing the check these two they mean serious business so this one has a strap comes like four select unboxes So for this one, for those days, you can wear it as a crossbody with the lice, long pants, um, um, striped shirt, cream, cream pants, and uh, some nice high heels. Not a chunky heel, just a nice high heel that you can wear and you know you're comfortable in, not flat shoes, because we are grabbing the checks. We are signing the deals, so these ones need heels and not a thick heel. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This one needs a nice, cute, long, high heel that you're comfortable in, up to your length. So inside, it has this compartment where you can put tiny little things. Then it has that long compartment. Then it has a divider. On the inside and the divider has um, zip it's kind of stuck I look at it then it has the Balmain logo over there and this other compartment and then it has this part for closing so I believe you close it like on the inside not the usual outside, not the huge, huh? And then it's like that. The fabric looks like jeans-like, but it's not really jeans. And what I told you about Bev is the fabric, is the fabric. So yeah, and the hardware and the material. So you can get it from Handbags by Bev on Instagram. These ones, I believe, I purchased them together with that one. That's why they're sharing at space. Ha! I know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> I was confusing, but I know what it is. hey we say this video is all about the designer it's a luxury handbag unboxing and luxury handbag that i have so i got a christian dior saddle bag yay in black all my if i had money for black for all the blacks that i have if i had money for them
you see me quiet the whole video i've been talking if you see me quiet to know me is to know i love christian dior whether you whether real whichever way all forms and manner i love their plates i love their saucers i love their handbags i love their piece of clothing i love their shoes oh my god my wish list for shoes from from christian dior is amazing amazing if there's a luxury uh fashion house that i love is christian dior and my love for it just came out with the way my silence i was admiring this baby it's black it's saddle back look at it it has a black uh, a back place you can place some things over here you can place some items inside here it's not really a big bag so you can't do a lot with it maybe if you maybe if you're just chilling or going for an uh a thing that you know you won't need much you can carry it like so but not many people carry it like this because it's not really vertically based so you can't place it on top of the table most of the time you just need it for activities you're leaving your car you know where you're going maybe for shopping you carry it your little nice phone your iphone your android your samsung your oppo you place it inside you place your lipstick your lip balm your wallet your card your cash and that's it you don't need to carry a lot and then for me this one screams um casual look casual uh zhuzhed up look a bougie kind of look where you have your sneakers your nice gucci sneaker or your nice christian dior sneaker or your uh adidas samba yeah i believe you can do it with adidas samba the white ones then some baggy jeans and a t-shirt and then you have this as a crossbody over there some with sunglasses like let me just bring something what i mean this is what i mean eh? with your christian dior over there taking two pics <laughs> i hope the vision is visioning so that's it that is my thinking of how i'd style the bag um and i love it i love it i love it i love it yes and The last handbag that I got from Handbags by Beth is this one. And this one I also got it last year, not this year. But they were on my wish list. What I do is if I know I want something for 2025, I will purchase and place them away. Like for now, I believe I have enough handbags to carry me through for any event that will come along this 2024. So this one, I know what it is. It's a um, Chanel. I don't know whether it's not a mini classic. It's a classic flop. So it's a classic flop, black in color, huge. And not small so it's not a mini classic and it's, it doesn't look like a medium it looks like a large so this is it
comes like so it has a back pocket over here then it has its classic flap over here and this is how you open it that's why it's called a classic flap because of that then you open it like so it has this compartment i've owned a chanel before and people are moving away from chanel they're saying chanel is expensive chanel is increasing its price point so for those who can't handle the chanel madness you can just clearly find yourself at handbags by bev and you get your chanel classic dupe so yeah it's in black i love a bag with a red inside for me it's a turn on it has its logo over here the chanel logo then uh, it has three compartments here here you can place your things the ones you need to reach out to very fast so that one then this compartment then last but not least that compartment it has the classic flap i don't know why it's short Oh, yeah. So the handbag is like so. You close it like that, then you can hold it like that as a double strap. And if you want a single strap, you just roll it like that and you place it and go out. For a date, for a, a date with the girlies, Sunday brunch, and any other thing you feel like going. I believe it's just a classic bag, cute for all indoor, outdoor events, dinner dates, uh, and Sunday brunches. Yeah, I really love it, and I can't wait to start using it. It's black as usual. It can fit a lot. This bag can fit a lot uh you can place it on top and like the saddle bag you can place it on top of the table this one you can clearly place it like that and she'll be able to handle her business just like that stunning she's gorgeous she is 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 stunning she is amazing. She is classy. She is beautiful. She's a stunner. Just thinking it has something. Last but not least, the bags that I imported from China. These bags, we were buying them for 1500 the tote bag this is a dupe for mac mac, mac jacobs <laughs> mac jacobs so it's a dupe we were buying it for how much was it 1500 and then you clear with 500 so in total it was it was 2000 and most of the places in the country are selling it for around 3035 all the way to 4000 clearly madness but people in business they gotta make money so if you want a china group join a china imports group why you can get these things at an amazing price and this bag i really really love it it has a top handle and the inside is like so so for this one i haven't used it i love the way you can close it up like so and it's easy to close it up i just don't know why it has a long cutting knee over here but you don't mind that so for the one that i've used the most they came to i ordered i pre-ordered two and i waited um one and a half months to get it around four weeks five weeks thereabouts so this one i have used it the whole month for the last one month i've been using it for school it fits my big bulk bar, uh, books it fits my laptop it fits um but with the laptop you won't close it you just handle it like that it fits other books it can fit three books it can fit a diary sometimes i do carry lunches or something to snack a dish it can fit in here so it's a really really nice compact bag it has a long strap so i do carry it 
most of the time like so if i'm carrying very little stuff but now when i carry and it's heavy i do carry it like so with the long strap the material is leather so it's easy to clean it has spilled something inside but i easily cleaned it um the color is black and i have it in a brown version and i got it from an import group called J. uh yeah so it's just one single compartment with a zipper durability looks good because i have another handbag that durability wasn't really good i don't know if it is me if it was me who handled it terribly or the fabric was just poor material from china so i don't know i don't wanna say it's bad a bad pr from the one who gave me not a pr like a bad rep, rep about them from the shop i got it from so yeah you just make your mistakes you live and you learn Taz items like here i have so this was my christmas wish list let me read it so i wanted a celine headband which i got celine belt in black i got in brown i i didn't buy celine bag i have a celine bag what celine bag did i want oh yeah a celine bag in black let me show you so this is the baby of the house <laughs> this is celine logo so i'm like i wanted it in black but clearly i've not also used it i wanted to unbox this video so that i can have something to unbox and something to do and to use so now you can clearly put it into use it's like selling triumph bag i really 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 after dior i really love selling after dior christian dior selling is my girl so i wanted it in black but the uh the shop was, is called nashami on uh, instagram they didn't have it in black so they had it in this color and i took it looks like a nude it looks like yeah a nude and it has a long strap which i'll fix so on to my other luxury wish list i got i wanted celine sunglasses which i got and you'll see an insert uh with the kisumo video then there was a Celine handbag by Rockastor. I didn't manage to buy. There's a coach belt I wanted. I got it, but I've not picked it. There's a pink uh, dress that I wanted, but it was sold. Then I wanted a red dress. I got it. And then I wanted some coats from Matt Parla. And the first one was a black coat and a red coat which I've added to my collection. Uh, should I show you? I'll just put an insert over here of the, 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 the red version and it also comes in black. So that one I got. Then I wanted the Jackie Mills handbag. Me and designer handbags, what? But I didn't get it. Now uh, from Tao Tree, I wanted some jeans. Um, shoe which i got over here so this is the jeans shoes i wanted from poultry and i love it i love it i love it what i meant when i said the signing checks in here is that you can you can be comfortable in this situation not too short not a kitten heel but a kitten heel isn't bad but also this one this cream i'm here for business i wanted some converse sneakers at the time i didn't get them for my christmas but it's basically it was just those 
rubber converse and i got them this year i wanted it in black and white so i got them i wanted a pulse button jeans i have it that one i picked up i wanted the loewe tank top i have it i wanted some stud and chains i got it some bangles in cartier in rose gold and uh, gold stained didn't get it i wanted a house of choker vest i got it Mm, I wanted a Fendi bodysuit. The page didn't respond, so I don't know. But I bought from them initially, previously. Uh, gotten a uh, Christian Dior. Um, what is it? The bodysuit. Then I wanted a coach bag. I don't know which page it was. I think those were my future handbags that I want. I want a coach bag. I want an LV bag. I'm not uh, an LV bag, yeah. I'm not really a fan of the LV logo. Just, I like subtle. But for this one, I know the bag that I want. I'll insert here, it's in brown. And then the Hermes bag. I want it either in brown or in um, khaki kind of color. Handbags by Bev have it. But there's another one I like from... Oh yeah, I didn't plug you where I got this bag. The pillow tabby. The pillow tabby, I got it from Glam Access. Glam Access, yeah. Glam Access. So there's a Hermes bag, a backing that I saw from, from Glam Access. And I want somebody to buy it for me been staying there for too long and i don't want to buy it with my money so i want to be bought for and then i want a chanel mini and then a prada tote bag in black but i think the prada tote bag i was talking about must have been this one then i wanted some peniel well these were just the items i wanted to pick and yeah that's it that's one my wish list for christmas so we started a new year i had some wish lists some other wish lists but i'm not really doing much about them i think <laughs> that's a lie i'm doing everything about them so let me stop lying yeah we'll unbox whatever we get this year love you guys thank you for chilling out with me if you've not subscribed subscribe to my youtube channel and for those who are new here, thank you for watching till the end and I hope you